everybody, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the changes that are coming to Warlocks with the April 12th update. Titans had their time where they were kind of overdone, done over, that's that's the right word, not overdone, not like they were burnt in the oven or something, and now it is the Warlocks turn. So we're going to leave Sunsingers to last because there's a lot to talk about there. But let's start out with the Stormcaller. So first things first, they are nerfing the damage on Landfall. So the way that the designers put it is that Landfall will not be able to get rid of a Titan's bubble. So Landfall is not going to be like a mini Fist of Havoc anymore. Also, Landfall is no longer going to blind enemies that are around you. So Landfall is just for a little bit of damage damage to do and not to take out bubbles, not to blind absolutely everybody. Also, they are reducing the super duration when using Transcendence. So basically what most Stormcallers would do is they would use this perk where if you had your melee full and your grenade full, your super would basically last forever. It lasted way too long. I think everyone could agree that it lasted too long. Well, they are making it to where it doesn't last nearly as long as it does now. We do not have specific numbers, by the way. I just want to put that out there. No numbers have been released. That's going to be coming out within the patch notes because going into specific numbers wouldn't really work in a one hour live stream. So we're going to have to wait for the actual patch notes to get into the gritty numbers. But it's gonna last a lot less than it does now. There's also been a slight damage buff to damage to surrounding enemies in the Electrostatic Mind perk. So they're trying to open up some more perks, give you some more options to use within the Stormcaller, and I think these changes are good. The only real issue that I had with Stormcallers is that their super just lasted too long. If someone popped it, especially in Trials of Osiris, it was like, whoop. What do we do? There's only so far that we can run away from this person. So I think that the nerf is definitely good. The damage and the blinding, I don't know if it was really necessary, but I'm just happy that the super is going to be lasting a lot less time. Now let's move on to Voidwalkers, which are getting a buff. Now they're not getting an overall buff, but they are having a buff to a very specific build, and that is the Energy Drain build. So as you guys will probably know, energy drain is the ability to drain energy from your enemies and use it to reduce the cooldown of your grenade. You also have soul rip, which is a perk within the melee column, where every time you kill an enemy with energy drain, it reduces the cooldown of Nova Bomb. You also have perks like the hunger, which increases the duration of energy drain, and you also have embrace the void, where damaging enemies with Nova Bomb or any grenade triggers the energy drain effect. So this is the build that is getting buffed. They are making energy drain better. Now, if you watch the stream, I would recommend checking out the highlight of the stream. You will notice that every time the warlock got a kill with his grenade, the energy drain made his grenade recharge super, super, super fast. Like it was recharging insanely fast. So what their idea behind buffing the Voidwalker's energy drain build is, is that if you are a skilled Voidwalker, you will actually be able to have your melee and your grenade up pretty frequently, as well as reducing the cooldown of your Nova Bomb by using your energy drain effectively. I hope that made sense. They're buffing energy drain. There you go. They're making Voidwalkers be the vampires of destiny. <laughs> and lastly, let's talk about the Salt Slingers, also known as the Sun Singers, renamed Salt Slingers due to the amount of salt that they are creating within the PvP community. By the way, I've decided that I'm joining the PvE community. I'm going to be a master of Prison of Elders and become known as God of the PvE universe. But I digress, let's talk about Sun Singers. Flame Shield is going to give you less armor and it's going to be given to you at a lower frequency. So when you hit someone with your melee and you get that overshield, which is flame shield, it's not going to give you as much damage reduction. And also you're not going to be able to get that overshield as often as you currently do. So that's a good change. It's always super annoying fighting a warlock, well, a sun singer specifically, who's like, I'm just going to punch you because I have the best melee ever and I'm going to get an overshield. That's, that's 
always annoying. So I'm all about that change. That change is very good. Now, speaking more about melees, they're also going to make solar wind available more often. So you're going to be able to get an overshield less frequently. But if you were to run solar wind, you would be able to have that available to you more often. So they're trying to make you pick other things rather than going for the overshield. Now we also have brimstone that's getting a buff. It's going to have a damage increase. So what brimstone does is it basically has like a little explosion when you punch people and that's going to have a damage increase. So that's going to be super cool. More options, I guess. It gives you more options. Maybe I want to smack people away from me and then finish them off with one of those low rate of fire auto rifles that look super sexy in the update. Maybe that's something that I want to do, but I'm cool with that. They're trying to just give more options rather than just running flame shield all the time because that's all anybody uses. Now they also made a change to Fireborn specifically. So when it comes to the super that is Radiance for the Radiance Warlock, if you are using Fireborn, it is not going to last as long as if you were to use something like Radiant Skin. And I think they made that decision just because it's the dominant thing to use when it comes to Radiance in Trials of Osiris. So people can not only revive themselves from the dead, but they can also have a super that lasts a, a decent amount of time and be able to run around harassing people, throwing grenades at them. So I'm okay with that change. I think that's cool. Now it's like if you are using Fireborn, you're primarily using it so that you can get up from being dead. You're not using it to be like a destructive super. They also mentioned that if you're not using Fireborn, you're going to be able to throw more grenades than you currently do. So this is actually a buff for everything else besides Fireborn. They also mentioned that Song of Flame is going to be better. They didn't say really how it's gonna be better, just that it's going to be better. I'm actually really looking forward to these patch notes because I wanna know specifically what's happening because right now we don't really know specifics. But that's essentially what's happening to Radiance Warlocks. You're getting different options when it comes to the melee. The Overshield is being nerfed. Fireborn is being nerfed, but the regular supers kind of being buffed a little potentially. <laughs> now that is the only changes that came to Sunsingers. And I know that was very disappointing to a lot of the community, including myself. And the reason that they gave for not touching fireboat grenades, not touching Viking funeral or any of that stuff is that they couldn't really do it without redesigning the entire subclass. And I was very, very, very confused about this comment because Thorn was just nerfed. It was nerfed again to where the burn does less damage and it also burns for a shorter amount of time. Now, surely they could do that with the burning in Viking Funeral because isn't it essentially the same thing? I don't think anyone is asking for them to completely nerf Firebolts. It's just the fact that you have the initial grenade damage, which is pretty decent damage, but then you also have burn that lasts for an incredibly long time and does seven damage per tick. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot. Not only are you keeping your shields down, but you're also taking an incredible amount of damage from this burning. So I'm definitely not saying like, hey, take out fireball grenades, like nerf them into the ground, change everything. I would just like that the burn does a little bit less damage and maybe burns for a shorter amount of time. And I do understand kind of where they're coming from with redesigning the subclass because those are two perks in the tree and that tree kind of makes up the subclass. It's all about burning. Like that's what a Radiance Warlock is. It's about burning I understand it. It's fire and stuff. <laughs> but in the meantime, surely it's better to just kind of reduce the damage that it does over time. Like, I don't know. I thought that would have made a lot of sense to do that. So I'm definitely disappointed that this was not addressed, that they were like, we just can't do anything about it right now because I would be totally fine with Viking Funeral still being there, Firebolt still being there, all of that stuff still being there, but the damage just being less over time. I think that would be fine and I think a lot of people would actually be okay with that. So yeah, my shields are being kept down, but I'm not burning to death and someone can't kill me from literally just throwing a grenade at me because I don't think that should be a thing. But overall, the changes to Warlocks I think are very interesting. I agree with the flame shield armor being reduced and the frequency being reduced. They're nerfing Fireborn, which I think is fine, especially for trials. Like not only do you come back from the dead, but you can chuck grenades and burn me to death. 
before I can do anything. So I think those changes are perfectly fine. The one to Voidwalkers, I'm actually super excited to try out the vampire abilities is on the Voidwalker. I think that's gonna be really fun. But again, just a little bit confused about why they couldn't do like anything at all about the whole Viking funeral thing. But that is gonna be it for the changes to Warlocks. We have a lot more videos to come talking about changes overall, which by the way, I think the overall changes have actually been super, 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 super great especially the ones to revives, which we will be covering in another video. But yeah, what do you guys think? Please try and keep it to a educated, calm, intelligent discussion in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the changes that are coming to Warlocks. Don't just yell at people and be disrespectful. There's no need for that whatsoever. We can have an exchange of opinions without being rude to one another. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you awesome people later. Bye.